This is the Roosevelt Hotel in downtown New Orleans. For decades, the studios of radio station WWL were in this hotel. As a kid growing up in Indiana, at night, I could pick up WWL. So this is kind of a homecoming. You see, at night, WWL is the only station on 870 AM. It's called a clear channel frequency, not the company clear channel, but the FCC regulation. And from New Orleans, WWL and its 50,000 watts can be heard over much of the United States. That first night I got into my hometown during the trip to Indiana, I turned on the radio and sure enough, I could pick it up. WWL, the news talk and sports leader. And I suddenly couldn't wait to get down here to New Orleans and visit the Roosevelt Hotel. WWL went on the air, courtesy of Loyola University in 1922 as a class exercise, but it eventually became a regular commercial radio station and became the heart and soul of New Orleans. WWL covered the Mardi Gras live. As a grade school kid in Indiana, I loved listening. On Sunday nights, professors from the school joined in on university time. I learned a lot from that show. And on Saturday nights, WWL presented old-time jazz musicians who likely had been around when Louis Armstrong was just leaving the slums of the city. And every night for two hours, WWL went live to one of two locations in the hotel. Leon Kellner was in the Blue Room. He lived to be 77. Peter Toma and his accordion were in the Fountain Lounge. Toma lived into his 90s. Then in 71, WWL gave a young DJ named Charlie Douglas a spot. He invented the Road Gang. It was a country music show pitched to long-haul truckers all over the U.S. He did the show for 15 years. WWL, instrumental in my childhood, connecting me to a wider world and making me really love radio. I'm Dennis Daly.